Rob Rink in the all black. Mike Basile in the black with red. Your third man in the cage, referee Chris Molina. Rink starts it out with a lead leg kick to him. It's going heavy on that lead leg. Both fighters coming out with the leg early. He's landing. Rink is the uh, more aggressive fighter from the start here. He's heavy on the leg kicks. Nice jab from Rink, too. After followed up his kick with a jab, a right jab. Basil appears to have the reach, but Rink is the denser fighter. I would agree with that assessment. And Basil initiates a clinch early. Looks like he's trying to jump guard from here. He's wrapping a leg around. Underhooking nice. He's got a good far side underhook, but Rink is in deep on that single. Nice takedown by Rink. Rink's got him down. Let's see what we can do here. It's a double edged sword here on the cage because while you can use the cage as a weapon, it can be used against you as well. You know, you can, you can wall walk your way up the cage and get back up. But Rink got some good pressure. He's isolating that far side arm on Basil. Shout Basil recovers our, guard nicely. Shout out to our uh, production assistant, Nick Rogan. Right in the action right now. Basil's got a very active guard here. It's impressive. He's, he's isolating the norm and he's, he's moving his hips well. It looks like he's trying to set something up here. He's looking for either a butterfly sleep or maybe he's trying to isolate a triangle here. Listen, both these fighters combined have less than five rounds in their career. Nice sweep by Basil. And what about the said You can't see the difference. You know, you, don't, you wouldn't even know that. Beautiful sweep. That was a beautiful sweep. Wow. Mike Basil showing high level jujitsu here. He's got Chris Vamos in his corner. Chris Vamos is one of the hidden jujitsu gems on Long Island here. See that? Basil's got fast. the back. Basil's got the back. Look at this. Under a minute here in round number one, high drama in the final fight of the uh, undercard here. Mike Basil at the back of Rob Rink. Rink is defending well. He's, he's isolating the choking hand. He's looking to stand here. Now, this is a double-edged sword to standing defense here because you got to carry your own weight plus your opponent's weight here. But it also takes the fulcrum off your opponent's back and their lever to choke here. So... You're right, double-edged sword there. I can see what you're saying, where he's, he literally has a man on his back. Right? Yeah. Rink, Rink is built to handle that, though. Look at him. He's the denser fighter, <laughs> as you said. He's got he's to gotta get his chin tucked, isolate a hand. He's got to get two-on-one -on, -one on that choking hand. Round number two underway here. The space at Westbury. Rob Rink in the black and white trunks. Mike Basil in the all black. Round number one was a competitive one. Slight edge to Mike Basil on Dave the Rockers card. Let's see what Rink can do here and try to uh, ease back some momentum. You know, Rink's got to understand now when he's got Basil down, given these novice rule set, his guard is not a place he can hang out. You know, if he was able to strike to the head, it changes things. Right. But now that there's no strikes to the, to the head, it's essentially almost a jiu-jitsu match. So Rink's got to understand now that spending time inside somebody's guard where you can't really throw the strikes is not a good place to hang out. Let's see if he makes that adjustment. For those at home who don't understand the novice rules, under three fights in your career, you're fighting with string guards. The fight goes to the ground. There is no striking to the head, only to the body, which, you know, is a big game changer. And you can see it right now. Basil's pulling guard. You know, that's, that's, I don't know that's a strategy you would go with uh, with, you know, the, the full rules. Generally, for me, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't want to be on my back. The novice rules. You, you probably want to be standing. No? Novice rules. Like, if you're a jujitsu guy, it favors you because you're not going to get punched in your face. Those body shots you can deal with and work your jujitsu. A slab from Rink. Now, if I'm Rink, I gotta. I gotta work my posture. I gotta look to get out of here and pass the guard. Given that last round, you know, Basil's got a good active guard. It's not a place I want to hang out. He's got to work the posture up. And if I'm Basil, I'm going to look to control Rink's posture, uh, isolate an underhook and arm, and look to sweep or submit again. And you see him, he's working that far side. He's working for Rink's right arm. He's got an underhook. He's going to look to isolate that arm. Looks like he's going to set up maybe for a Kimura sweep here. He's going to set up a triangle from here.
Rink's got to keep his head directly on Basil's head. He's got to use head control here. You know, the, if your head can't look where your body wants to go, it's a lot harder to maneuver here. You can control somebody's hips that way. So if I'm rank, I need to get my head on the outside, off the outside there, back in the center line, and start to posture up and even pass the guard here. Under one minute here, round number two was scheduled for three in the middleweight division. Now this is a round controlled by Rink. Round number one uh, might have edged to Basil, but Rink had a big slam, had a big takedown. He's spending a lot of time on top, which, you know, the judges seem to like. Right. Rink's doing the right thing here now. He's postured up, and he can work and throw his strikes and get busy. You know, he made the necessary adjustment. And the biggest thing that he adjusted here is he's controlled his posture. He's not letting Basil control his posture. And he's using his head to dictate the center line. He's keeping Basil pinned against that fence and not letting his hips get to work. He's also not giving up an arm for Basil to isolate where he got that sweep from. 10 seconds here in round number two. Action really starting to heat up here at the Space at Westbury. Triton fights 12 on BR Live. Here it is, the final round of the fight. Round number three underway. We're here at the Space at Westbury. Rob Rink in the black and white. Mike Basil in the all black. Big uppercut by, nice. by Rob Rink. He followed it up with two shots there. Which, you know, he's following his corner's advice. I so saw Ryan LaFlair pantomime the uppercut. Big slam right into side control. Basil's got a far side underhook. He's gonna look to regain his guard here. He can attack a guillotine. He's gonna start isolating that far side arm. And Rink backs out. Smart move by Rink, who's, had, who's landed his fair share of blows up top. You know, he's showing a good fight IQ. You know, he, he had a rough first round. He's making the proper adjustments as the fight goes on. And nine times out of 10, that is what, especially in the amateur level, that is what will win or lose you a fight, is being able to make those mid-fight adjustments. Right, when you're breathing heavy, when you're tired, when your brain's not functioning fully, the guy who can have that brain functioning fully to know to get out of that stand-up. Right, to have the wherewithal. To, to adjust. It's not enough to have your coaches tell you, you still have to put it to, into effect. Where's Rink is landing with those leg kicks too. He, he, he's adding up points on those leg kicks. Every leg kick he's throwing, you know, and it's, it looks like it's appeared to slow Basil down just a little bit. I'll tell you what, both fighters very well conditioned here. Oh, big shot from Basil, big counter. 90 seconds in the fight. Another good leg kick out of Rink. One uh, round apiece, at least on Dave's scorecard. The fight could be won right here in these remaining 90 seconds. Spinning back fist from Mike Basil. I, I, I'm gonna say this exchange could dictate the course of the fight here. Whoever wins this exchange here, if there's a takedown or somebody lands a, an efficient strike, could... When you're at this stage of the fight, it's a minute left, do you know that? you think that, like, man, a minute left, I gotta, I gotta sell out here, or are you just like, let me get to the end of this fight? You know, so it, it, it's hard to tell. I've, I've had fights where I knew where I was, and I've had other fights that were, were a blur. You know, Rink, Rink looks like he's an aware guy. You know, he made the mid-fight adjustments. I think, I think he knows where it's at, and I think his corner was probably telling him the, the right thing. Same thing with, with Basil's corner. You know, you got two camps that are, are skilled, and they're able to tell their fighter where they are in the fight effectively and what they need to do. Another smart move from Rink here with 35 seconds to go, going for a takedown. Judges love takedowns, and there it is. That might that might have just won him the fight. If he can control here effectively, that, that could be the difference there. It's two takedowns this round. If I'm, if I'm Rink here, I'm stepping over those legs right to a triangle mount here. I'm looking to step my right leg over those legs. Ah, he ends up in the half guard. And Rink passes. That's a big. That's a big move right there. He moved out of the pass, out of like a full guard. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, He's we do the go bucket. to the scorecards. Your three judges score it: 29, 28, 29, 28, and 29, 27. All for your winner by unanimous decision, and still undefeated, Rob. Oh, my God!